Hello everyone, Paul here again. In this Pearson tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a digital exam for your students so you're able to get that data back quickly and efficiently. So here we go. Right now, I actually have uh, two windows open because I have to uh, use my account to walk you through the first two, few steps and then I have to use the demo account to continue. So I'm looking on the left side here I'm in my single sign-on, just like you would be. You would come up here and click Pearson. This is going to open you up to your classes and products. If you don't have them, that's something that you would have to add, and I'll have that on another tutorial. Um, go down in your bottom right-hand corner and click Pearson Realize. Once you're in here, you'll see your programs. You click into your programs. And in this case, we're going to choose a Vision Math 2.0. I'll go with sixth grade. I'll click onto that. And then it jumps you into this page. So now let me slide over here to the demo account where I have students. So we went programs, sixth grade. Okay. So here I am on this page. And what I want to do is scroll down to a topic. I'll pick topic one. I'll click in there. And then I'll scroll down to the bottom of all the lessons that I've taught. Um, here's my topic review. Go to the very bottom, and here's my topic one assessment. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to click assign. If you're interested, I'm going to uh, make another screencast that shows how to customize your topic test so that you can add questions. So um, look out for that one if you're interested. Over here, what we'll do to get started on assigning this is we will simply click assign. It'll give you a start date, end date, and then up here you just have to click in your uh, math class. Uh, I believe if you have um, multiple classes, you would just type in, for example, period one. Once I start typing, it's already um, there for me. So I go ahead and I click onto that period one math because that's what I want to assign it to. And then down here, if you want, you can automatically assign the remediation and enrichment activities to that student, depending on how they do on their test. I'm going to keep that field checked on for myself, and I'm going to assign it. And that is it. The test is assigned and waiting for the student to take. And um, if you'd like, I will also have another screencast you can check out that uh, shows what the student sees when they log in. Uh, and now, same process can be done with assigning any other activity that's digital. And that's it. Thank you, and I will talk to you soon.